Here we have the U555 attachment. The regular duty coils that work with the mini ductor also work with the U555. Heavy duty coils are only for use with the U555 attachment. Induction heats ferrous metals, metals containing iron, using magnetic fields. The attachment's field bounces back and forth from inside to out and is strongest in the middle of the coil. The closer the load to the coil, the faster it will heat. It also creates heat by the resistance of current through its load. The better the conductor of electricity, the less amount of heat created through resistance. But don't worry, we don't create enough current in ferrous metals to do damage to electronics outside of the effective field strength. But for some conductive metals, it does create enough current to light up this light bulb. This is a demonstration of the effective field of the U555 attachment. Under full load, the U555 attachment uses up to 100% of the inductor's available power. Seized, frozen, rusted, or thread-like compound bonds can often call for other means to nut and or bolt removal. Though a torch can effectively work, and more likely will cause collateral damage. So we're going to use the U555 attachment to create a flameless and precise heat on the nut. The U555 can heat any size nut or bolt up to 4 inches and sometimes larger. The high temperature fiberglass sleeving protects the coil from grounding out and the load being heated. If the insulation is breached, grounding out can occur, thus creating a spark. We now lose our advantage in flammable areas. As well, while the unit is grounded out, it will not heat and in fact start to overheat the unit. It is important to work with a coil without an insulation breach. In an effort to maximize the amount of use out of a coil, we want to use a coil that is slightly larger than the nut that we are heating. Not making contact lessens the friction that rubs through the insulation. The insulation is rated for 1200 degrees Fahrenheit. Heating nuts red hot is not needed and not advised for prolonging the life of the coil. In addition, once the load is red hot, it has reached its Curie temperature. The Curie temperature is the temperature at which the load is no longer conductive. When this happens, the unit overheats. Once the nut has been heated red hot by any method, you will be changing the molecular structure of that nut. Discard the nut, it has been compromised. The heat shrinking process happens when the metal is warmed and then cools to its original memory. If you're working on an inline application where the coil can't slip over the load, split the coils apart and place the load in between them. If this doesn't work for your application, you can also use the flexible bearing buddy coil. Induction heating is used in many industries, including dental labs, restaurants, and heat treating companies. The U555 attachment has many other uses. Use the diagram of the magnetic field's shape to apply to any ideas you may have. This attachment can be held directly to metal if need be, but the coil life can be prolonged if it isn't. On average, good coil care should provide a few hundred uses.